This is Crestview Drive. It is uh, underwater and evacuated because of three nearby cresting rivers. And it actually goes from bad to worse. The worry is that more water's coming. One dump truck at a time, crews raise this entire levee. 18 inches higher could make the difference. Just like these inmates filling sandbags, all to help hold back the bloated Mississippi. Cody Rodriguez knows the stakes. He helped build this five-foot levee around his grandmother's house. Floodwaters swallowed it. We pretty much live here 24 hours a day to try to save it, but you know, there's only so much you can do. For this house and so many others, it's too late. The Mississippi, a mile that way and 11 feet above flood stage and rising, keeps pushing all this water where no one wants it to go. Compare NASA's satellite images. The region's rivers at normal levels last year and now. Water seeping from banks and levees all over. River levels higher than the great floods of 1927 and 1937. It's not a 100-year flood, this is a 500-year flood. By next Wednesday, Memphis could be a mess. The Mississippi could crest at 48 feet, an all-time record. Pearl and Leon Bays knew they'd find heartache, but boated back to their home they left on Tuesday. Now, three feet of water outside and rising inside. I kept hoping it would, you know, level off before it got in there. But This is the reality inside the house they built in 1972. It's hard to say everything you weren't for all you laughed at, baby, If it's a total loss, they're in trouble. Like so many people here, they never imagined all this water and they have no flood insurance. Mm. Harry? Mark Strassman, thanks.